Ending modern slavery is the bold mission that we hold for ourselves at the Freedom Fund. Now, when I use that term, modern slavery, it's very likely that every single person sitting in this auditorium has a different idea, a different picture, a different definition of what that might mean. So let's be very clear about what modern slavery means. Modern slavery is a term used to describe various means of extreme exploitation. Think about situations such as labor trafficking, sex trafficking, bonded labor, child labor, forced labor, state-mandated forced labor, and forced marriage. It can look like a little girl in Nepal working alongside her family in a brick kiln, a young man from Myanmar forced to work on a fishing boat in Thailand, for seafood that makes its way into our grocery stores and onto our plates. A woman working tirelessly to make the clothing that we're wearing in an effort to pay off the impossible debt that she owes her exploiter. Girls sold into sex trafficking by their own families out of financial desperation. All of these situations are incredibly different, but what makes each individual a victim of modern slavery is that they've experienced force, fraud, or coercion for someone else's meaning an individual, a corporation, a criminal network, or a political regime's personal or commercial gain. So what's the scale? How many people is this really impacting? Who is this impacting? As of 2016, which is now six years ago, a pandemic ago, several conflicts ago, it was estimated that over 40 million individuals are living in situations of modern slavery. For a little bit of size perspective, that's more than the population of the state of California in the United States. Modern slavery is a global issue. It happens in every single country, and over 70% of victims are women and girls. Who else? Who else is this impacting? Who's at risk? The truth is anyone sitting here could be a victim of modern slavery. However, those who are most at risk are individuals and communities who live with underlying vulnerabilities. Think about those individuals and communities living in extreme poverty, those who are cast aside, who are marginalized because of their gender, because of their race, their caste, their class, their religion, their sexuality. Communities who have experienced crises, such as natural disaster, effects of climate change, war, and political regime shifts. As someone who's lived through modern slavery myself, I know from my own experience that these vulnerabilities not only create the entryway for exploitation to exist, but they make it nearly impossible to ever fully exit. What also makes it so impossible to exit situations of exploitation is the fact that modern slavery is deeply embedded within our systems, our economic systems, our political systems, our social systems. Slavery is lucrative, not just for individuals, but for criminal networks, for corporations, for political regimes. Our global economy depends on complex, extended supply chains spanning continents in order to source for cheaper labor, for cheaper goods, which creates the perfect environment for modern slavery to flourish. So how do we solve for this? How do we solve for something that is so embedded within our society, within our systems? I don't have the time to talk to you about the Freedom Fund solution, but I do have the time to tell you that we're hosting a panel later today to talk about the intersection of authoritarian regimes and modern slavery around 410, and we hope that you can join us. Thank you very much.